Today we will make a stencil to decorate a handmade paper kite. The materials you will need are two sheets of colored paper, one sheet of tag board, a pencil and a marker, scissors or an X-Acto blade, two bamboo skewers, a paintbrush, acrylic paint, tape, ribbon, twine or thread, and a ruler. Begin by making a diamond shaped border on the tag board. Measure the middle of the tag board with a ruler, then measure three inches from the top and connect the four dots to make a diamond. Then use your pencil to sketch out the design you would like on your kite. You will be turning this design into a cutout stencil, so keep the concept of islands and bridges in mind. An island is any shape inside of another shape. We will demonstrate this with a letter O. The letter O has one island, so you will need to create a bridge in order for the island not to fall out when you cut out the shape. The letter A also has an island, so you will need a paper bridge to prevent the island from falling out. The number eight has two islands. We will show you what happens if you do not create bridges to connect the islands. In order to keep the islands in the number eight, you will need to form at least two bridges in your stencil. When you understand the concept of islands and bridges, use a marker to fill in the shapes in your design that you will cut out.
After filling in your design, use scissors or an X-Acto knife to cut out the filled in shapes. When you've finished cutting out your stencil, lay one of the colored paper sheets flat on a table with your stencil on top. Then use a paintbrush to paint a layer of acrylic paint over your stencil. Remove the stencil and allow the paint to dry. While the paint dries, attach the two bamboo skewers to make a cross. Measure three inches from the top of one of the skewers and attach the second skewer by tying them together with a small piece of string. When the paint is completely dry, lay the paper face down and center the bamboo cross on top. Use scissors to trim the skewers to fit inside the area of the paper. Then tape the skewers to the paper to secure them together. Fold each corner inward. Then cut along the edge to remove the excess paper. Now you will tape down the paper edges. Cut a small piece of string 
and tie it to the horizontal skewer. Tape the ribbon to the bottom of the kite to make the tail. Cut the other piece of colored paper into four small pieces. Then you will accordion fold each small piece of paper. Cut a small piece of string to tie the center of each small folded piece of paper. Then you will tape the small folded pieces of paper to the ribbon to decorate the tail. Tie a long piece of string to the short string on the back of the kite. This is the string that you will hold when flying the kite. You now have your own original paper kite.